What's up everybody? Sean here, Mary NJ08. And I got some questions here from some people and I wrote them down on my iPad. Normally I would I usually always get these and I answer them in either channel updates or I respond directly to people. And I seem to have gotten a bombardment over the past few weeks and some of them I haven't really answered. So I said to myself, well you know what? I might as well let these build up. And whichever ones that I haven't responded to yet, I'll make a series out of it. So this is going to be called Questions for the Goof. You know, you know, Murray and Jay away. We don't take nothing serious here. So, you know, we try to have a little fun, a little giggle. So I got some questions and I am going to answer them. And I, and I tried to pick through the most interesting ones, or at least that I thought was interesting. So let's start. I'm going to say your name. And uh, hopefully you're tuned into the channel. And I'm going to ask them as best I can. Now, for fun, I have not looked at these questions yet. I'm just glancing, but I haven't rehearsed them. So I want it to be a live, natural, realistic experience. So when I answer these, it's going to be for the first time. You know, I, I don't have the answers in my head already. Okay? Actually, I'm going to put the uh, iPad like this. I put them in pages here, an iWork suite. Okay, questions for the goofs. The goof. Episode 1. <laughs> Mark, I'm going to try to pronounce your names as best I can. Mark Hanbone. Sean, what is your favorite video game system of all time? Uh, how did I how did I know that this one was going to come up, you know? Um, that's such a hard question because I have equal love I ain't one of these fan, you know, fanboys like, oh, you know, you Xbox pieces of shit and you PlayStation pieces of shit and all that. That, to me, that's stupidness. When you're a real gamer, you love them all equally. I look at these comments like today with the um, reveal of the Xbox, the new Xbox that's going to be revealed May 21st. I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, oh my god, like the PlayStation fanboys, you piece of shit Xbox shit box. You're not gamers. I'm sorry. You're not. If you don't have equal love, I could just do a rant here, but I'm not gonna. Everybody that watches me knows the deal. Me, I get them all. Why Why limit yourself to just one thing? Why, oh, I'm only gonna play Nintendo, and then that's it. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You're missing out, and you really can't critique anything unless, you have, if, unless you've tried everything. That's my personal opinion. If I had to pick one, ugh, you know, I'd have to say, I'm going to have to say the regular NES, the original Nintendo. Why? Only because I've had so many memories with that system. It's, it just seemed like the entire length of that system's life. I've spent every second on it. It's when I actually, I mean, I've had Ataris and everything else before that. But that's when I really started saying to myself, man, I really do enjoy this. And I had cousins over. I had friends over. Every single regular NES game that I can remember, I have a story to tell about it. And I have tons and tons of games. And luckily, I kept them all. And I've collected a few through the years that, that I lost or did never owned. Um, but, I mean, as far as the original time when the NES was around, I just remember playing it. And I, I great, great memories. A lot of fun. A lot of aggravation. I used to get so, kind of like now, I used to get so into things and so frustrated and I'd be playing Super Mario Brothers 3 all night to like midnight to the next morning on a school night. My mother would be knocking on the door, you know. Aah! I'd be screaming. But I definitely have to say the regular Nintendo. But I have equal love for all the systems, even up until now. That's just the way, you know, I am. Okay, good question, Mark. Joe Timpson. Timson. What are your top five iOS apps? <sighs> Can I just look? <laughs> um, I'm an appaholic. I got about four to five thousand apps on my iTunes library. Not just games. A lot of photography apps. A little bit of everything. Um, <sighs> what are your top? What are your top five iOS apps? I guess that doesn't necessarily mean games. Um, this is a tough one. <sighs> I really am into weather. I do like weather apps. I find them pretty interesting. I've been liking um, AccuWeather. 
I've been using that. I like the alerts you get with it. Um, as far as games, there's tons. I love Infinity Blade. So I'll say that as my second one. Infinity Blade is awesome. Um, I'm going to have to say it. Angry Birds, uh, just in general. I have all of them. I, I do spend a lot of time in that game. That game is a trip and a half. Um, I remember when that game first blew up, it was like, whoa. So, I mean, as far as how much time have I spent on an app, that's probably one of the big ones. Um, on a side note here, I don't know if it'll make my top five, but I've definitely been liking that game Flow and Flow Bridges. That's been my new obsession. But, um, yeah, um, AccuWeather, I have to say um, Infinity Dungeon, um, Infinity Blade, um, Angry Birds. Uh, what else? I would have to say, hmm, probably, I'm going to have to quickly glance at my iPod here because my mind is a complete blank. Oh, Photoshop Touch, because I use it that much, I use it a lot, I use Photoshop Touch an awful bit, I take it out on the job with me. Um... What else? Which ones have I been really enjoying lately? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to have to say, to switch it up so it's not so much games, I'm going to have to say Evernote, because I use Evernote every day. So if that would count, it's something that I use every day. I definitely use Evernote. It's a, it's a note-taking app. It works across multi-platform. It works for the... Um, the computer, it works for the phone, the iPod, the iPad, everything. I and it really keeps organized. So I would have to say Evernote. But you know, we could do a top ten, a top twenty. That really isn't really. I can't really honestly say a top five, really. But good question, Sammy Duggins. When did you start playing video games? Again, I don't know the exact age, but. <laughs> As far back as I can remember, I was a young little child, and, and I might not know what the heck I was doing, but I was playing them, and I was mesmerized. I was a little child, and I can remember, I remember playing Atari 2600 on our, you know, on our black and white TV, just playing with it for hours. Me and my dad, you know, we, we'd, we'd get a little family time. I remember that, and um, that's gone through my whole life with me, just having those memories, you know? Growing up with video games, I I think since I've been born, I've always had at least a sy one system. I've I've been through them all. I've had all the systems on launch day. I've I've had since the earlier you know systems, the 5200, whatever, the 7800, the Intellivision, uh, the Fairchild. Um, what else? Everything. It, I, yeah, pretty much all of them. And I, can, and I just, I don't know exactly how old I was, but I was young. I was young. Kate Remsfeld. What kind of camera body do you use? I use a Nikon D5000 DSLR. Good camera. I like Nikon. Looking into getting the D7200 or the D7000, one of them. There was a D5100 and D5200, but, you know, I wanted to make a, a bigger jump than that when I get my next camera body. Um, Gaming Girl 86. What is your opinion and thoughts on the Nintendo Wii U? These are really good questions. Um, I, I like it. I think it's a great system. I mean, again, you know, I'm not the console war kind of person. I understand the faults it has, and I understand why people are upset the way they are, but... Listen, first of all, it's still very early in the life of the of the system. I, I do hope that it picks up. What's out now, I find, is very quality. I mean, you can nitpick. You know, I know I ranted, you know, this, that, the updates, and, the, the, you know, the multiplayers and whatnot. And listen, it's, it's early yet. They were saying the same thing with the 3DS. Now look at the 3DS. You know, they were saying the same thing with, <clears throat> I remember before the Wii was announced, everybody was calling it a whack job system. Um, 
even though you have a really big E3 coming up, and I know that Sony and Microsoft are going to steal the show, I still believe Nintendo is going to have a really good E3 because if you've been following everything, they're going to announce a lot of good titles to systems that they already have, such as the 3DS and the Wii U. And I think there's a lot coming coming to the Wii U. A, a new Ze a HD Zelda. Not the Wind Waker. I'm talking about a brand new Zelda. Uh, a new Mario Kart. Um, you know, uh, what else did they... A new Smash Brothers. A new, um, you know, a new Super Mario. A 3D game like Mario Galaxy, the next iteration of that. I think there's going to be a lot coming on the Wii U, so sit and hold tight. we got Pikmin 3 coming out soon. The wonderful 101. Um, they, you know, Injustice Gods Among Us is phenomenal on the Wii U. Um, even Need for Speed, Most Wanted. I know they're, you know, some of those are ports, but they're they're fantastic games. And um, I didn't have a problem with Zombie U. I thought that was a pretty cool game. So I, I'm optimistic about the Wii U. There's a lot coming for it. It's very early yet. Okay. And I know they're saying the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox is going to have great launch titles and it's going to be great. Listen. Every system struggles in some way or another when they first come out of the gate. Okay, it's it's only been a few months if you really think about it. Um, you know what was a holiday of last year, so give it time. It's early yet. So I think it's good if you're thinking about getting a Wii U, go right ahead. <clears throat> I actually really am starting to like the Wii U gamepad too. I wish the battery life was better on it. If you, I think I was playing uh, Dark Dark Siders 2, Argyle's Tomb. Wii U kept going dead, and it's it's like, did I just charge this? Maybe that's a patch, an update software. I don't know, but they need to fix it. There is a new, a big Wii U update coming out. It's supposed to be very soon to address a lot of issues, so we'll see. Could be a software issue. Mike Box 720 what franchises are you looking forward to most on the next-gen Xbox? Well... That's obvious. I I mean, I know I can sit here and say Halo, but it's actually, really, to me, Forza, because I'm a huge racing fan. I really enjoy racing games, and I'm a big Forza fan, and I loved Forza. I loved all the Forzas. I have every one, including Horizon. I loved Horizon. That game was, I don't know how many hours I put on that game. That game was addicting as hell. Um, I know it was a, a cross between, like, an open world and a simulator and whatever. Whatever. Forza's awesome. I would love to see Forza on new technology. Okay. Um, Gabby Dabby. Mac or PC? Both. I use both equally. If you would have asked me that a few years ago, I would have probably said... I would have said both, but I would have said more PC. I'm more Mac now. Only because I've been doing more video editing, graphic design, and I, I like a lot of the products on the Macintosh. You know? I like Windows 8 also. I've upgraded my uh, my Dell to Windows 8. I, I like them all. It doesn't matter. I even use Linux. <laughs> Sub Ryu 90. Love your Photoshop lessons. Showing these off at my college. My professor says you're doing a great job. Will you be doing more of these in the future? I realize this is a gaming channel, but look forward to them. Thanks. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, that's very, very cool. Um, I will be doing a lot of them. I'm going to be honest with you. I still have so many. I got two out already. Actually, one episode, and then I did the Lightroom 5 beta. So I got two videos out already, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be getting ready to record a lot more. I got a lot more lessons and tutorials in my head than I want to record. But I gotta tell you, I already got like 11 or 12 pre-recorded videos that I've done already that I'm just getting ready to upload that I'm gonna be spacing them out. So you got tons more. By the time that I, I release all 11 or 12 that I have stored up, I'll have another 11 and 12 recorded for the next batch. So you're gonna, gonna definitely be getting a lot of them. So thank you for that, I appreciate it. Stay tuned. And I don't know if you're subscribed or not, but you, you should be because I'm gonna be putting out a lot. I understand that, you know, I'm dissected. I, not everybody wants to see Photoshop, and not everybody wants to see video games, and vice versa, and vacation vlogs. So I, I do understand the problem that I'm having, and and I, I'm able to deal with it. But hey, listen, you stop by the channel, regardless, check it out. And follow me on Twitter, too, because I'll let you know ahead of time when I'm up, uploading something. Especially the Photoshop tutorials. Um, Kate Burns. 
What was your all-time favorite band to see live? Marilyn Manson. Phen phenomenal stage show. Phenomenal live performer. The guy put out his all, especially back in the heyday when he was in his prime. I'm talking Antichrist Superstar, Mechanical Animals, even Hollywood, you know. Phenomenal, phenomenal stage show. The guy went all out and he perfected it and he made sure that he wasn't going to come on stage until his stage show was the way he wanted to. A lot of people are like, oh, Marilyn Manson, oh, I kind of can't get into that. And oh, he's a whack job. He is an artist and he's phenomenal. And if you haven't been to his stage show, you've never seen nothing like it. He's mellowed out through the years, but um, he's still phenomenal. And uh, back in his day, boy, he was one crazy bastard. I mean, I would leave there with your jaw drop. And I had I went with people that weren't even crazy about Marilyn Manson, and they sat to one of his shows, and they were like, "My God, that guy's a performer. He really is." Um, I've seen him about eleven times. Small venues, big venues, live venues, indoor, outdoor. Big D the gamer. If you could choose to be any animal, what would it be and why? Keep up the great work and love the channel. Probably an alligator. Definitely. That or Sally Struthers. Tammy Gamer Girl. Most anticipated release of the year. She wants one music album and one game. Okay. I'll give you two right off the bat. Music, The New Black Sabbath, 13. Video game, The Last of Us. Ladybox 360. What's your favorite video game character and why? List your top three. Love the channel and hope you make it big. Uh, don't know about that. You are the real deal and have true passion for games. I'm glad people are, noticed, are realizing that. That's Thank you. That means a lot. Um, all right, back to the question. <laughs> List your top three. Lo okay. Um... I'm going to start with the obvious, the godfather of video games, Super Mario. Okay? He's awesome. <laughs> um, he's definitely cool. I, I've in, I've, and I have a lot of memories of him. A lot of, of games, many playthroughs with friends, family. A lot of good memories. Loved Mario. Played all through him. Um, really enjoyed that series a lot. And uh, Mario is one of my all-time favorite franchises. It always was. My second... I guess I'd have to say Link. I love Zelda. Zelda's awesome. Um, you know, another game that I grew up with. I mean, I remember, sure, the first and second Zelda and all that, but I can remember on the Super Nintendo, Link to the Past, that game changed my life. And that game, I played that game hours and hours with my dad, hours with my friends, hours with my cousins. I remember months and months and months after that game. That game was like the Skyrim of its time. It was it was in depth. It was long. It was enjoyable. Link to the Past was just awesome. And, I, and I'm so, so looking forward to the new one, Link to the Past 2, that they recently announced that they're working on. That's going to be sick. I love it. I've seen the trailer. You can download the 3D demo of the trailer on the 3DS. Ugh. Oof. It's something else to, to look forward to. I said I wasn't going to do it again after The Last of Us. And I'm doing it now with Watch Dogs and Destiny. Um, and then as a third character? Hmm. I'm going to say Ryu. I love Street Fighter and he's always been my favorite uh, fighting character of all. Well, now wait a minute now. I'm going to have to list two. I'm going to have to list Sub-Zero also because... Sub-Zero is my guy. Yeah, I'd say they're about tied. <laughs> Definitely. I loved playing with them. Um, you know, I love the fireball with Ryu, and I, I, I love freezing people with Sub-Zero. I remember back in the old, in the very first game, we used to have that, that back punch. Oh, I used to love it. Him and Scorpion, they used to call them the palette swap characters, but I loved them. That was amazing. That's a lot of memories, too. Going to the arcade. We had a... I used to go down in Seaside Heights. There was an arcade called Barnacle Bills. And I, I don't know how many coins I've spent on that damn thing. But between Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat... And as soon as there was a new Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat... Boom! The arcade... That arcade had it. I'd be standing on line. 
And you'd always get somebody that just was, that would spend hours and hours there playing that would whip your ass. So definitely, definitely those two characters. I got a lot of video game characters. I know she asked for my top three, but I like Lightning from Final Fantasy. Um, I like, uh, who else? Master Chief. <laughs> I like them all. I like a lot of them. There's some really cool characters. Um, Dante, the, the original Dante from Devil May Cry. He was cool. Marcus Phoenix, Gears of War. <clears throat> so, Isaac Clarke, Dead Space. So, definitely. Glad I could do this episode. I had a lot of fun doing it, as you can tell. Um, thanks for sending me your questions. I'm definitely going to have one of these again in the future. I don't know when. I guess I'll have to wait a while for them to build up. Because most of the time I do answer them as I get them. So, um, who knows? Maybe I'll make a, a blog, a vlog... And uh, put up a post and put up like a poll. We'll try that. See how that goes. Um, uh, maybe I'll do one once a month or once every other month. But thanks a lot. Enjoyed this. Hope you did too. And we'll catch you again soon on Questions for the Goof. That's me.